Hello. Several people have reached out to me regarding the quizzes in chapter six. And I did make lots of comments in your quizzes about those, but um, I thought I'd make a quick video that goes over some of them so that you can see why the answers were the way they were. I also want to remind you that it is much better to miss some of the questions on a quiz so that helps you reflect on the concepts so that you do better on the final exam. I drop a couple of your lowest quizzes, so that's gonna support in that area, but it's going to make you stop and think and reflect so that you're better prepared for the final. Okay, first question says, the cost of unleaded gas, it's giving me a standard deviation and mean, and it says we are interested in the average cost of gasoline for the 16 gas stations. What's the approximate probability that the average price for 16 gas stations is over 469? And several of you said almost zero. It's actually unknown. And that is because we cannot use the central limit theorem because there's only 16 gas stations. You have to have 30 or more, or I have to have told you that it comes from a normal distribution, which we don't know that. I said up here is unknown distribution and our sample size is too small. Okay, question two. Same scenario, but now I'm asking you to look at this for 30 gas stations. So we now have enough to use the central limit theorem. So you can see over here in Desmos, um, I've got my mean at 459. My standard deviation is 10 cents. And I have to divide by the square root of 30 because I'm looking at the average for the 30 gas stations. Um, and we want to know what is the likelihood that it's less than $4.55. So because it's less than $4.55, 455 is going to be my maximum value, and that comes out to be 0 0.0142. Okay. Question three um, is looking at a scenario where 53% of the population favor a charter school. Uh, they do a sample of 300 surveyed. Does this pass the requirements? Okay. I'm going to share my screen here. and show you how I would do this, how, what I expect you to do on paper. So they told us it was a random sample, but you need to acknowledge that for me with a check mark. Then I am looking at 20 times my sample size. <clears throat> so my sample size is 300. So 20 times 300 is 6,000. I am asking myself, do I think there's at least 6,000 um, families to check about this charter school? Yes, I do. So I'm checking that. You need to show me numerically the 20 times N. Then because we're talking about proportions, we have to check that N times P times Q is greater than 10. So N is 300 times P, which is 0.53, times Q, which is 1 minus 0.53. And I believe that that comes out to be about 74.73. And that is greater than 10. So we can say, yes, it's normal. Okay. You need to show me two and three using numbers. You can't just use it in words. Okay, back to the quiz. So question four then is using this scenario for the charter schools. So over in Desmos, you can see I put in 0.53 as my probability. My standard deviation, there isn't one because it's proportions. I have to use the square root, just what we learned in chapter um, 6.3. So point the um, square root of P times one minus P divided by N. And then um, we want to know what is it probably that less than 48% of them are in favor. So that means 0.48 is going to be my maximum value in this calculation. And that comes out to be 0 0.0414. Uh, then 
I ask another question. Um, what is the probability that more than 0.57? So then that time, my minimum is going to be 0.57, and my max is going to be uh, infinity. So that is 0 0.0825. Then um, number six has me prove my central limit theorem. The big thing here, I'm not going to go through them all, but the big thing here is that I told you that it's normally distributed. So it's okay that the sample size is not bigger than 30. So that's one thing to know there. Um, the sample size was 10. Um, and then the on seven and eight, the big things here are that Number seven is for an individual, okay? So that means I am going to copy this. And eight is for a sample, seven is for an individual. So seven, I'm putting in, I don't have to use my square root. I just use my mean and my standard deviation. And I want to um, see what the 80th percentile is for an individual. So that's, oops. So that's going to be using the inverse CDF of the normal distribution. Remember, I don't have to divide by the square root of n, and it's 0 0.8 because it's an 80th percentile. So that would be. 49, 49, 50 cents. But then in number eight, I do need to divide by that. So I am going to copy all of this and then paste it. Um, but now I do need to divide by the square root of a hundred because that was my sample size. And so for a sample, the 80th percentile would be 44547.05. And I'm going to submit my quiz. And there were two um, that I didn't answer, but um, everything was right, except for the, those two that I had to write out my answers. <clears throat> so I hope this little video helps you understand um, some of the reasoning behind the questions that I gave you and what the expectation would be. Catch me back for another video.